everyone, my name is Dr. Kim Boycott and this is Dr. Sarah Sawyer and we are clinician investigators at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario in Canada. The title of our paper is Exome Sequencing is a Diagnostic Tool for Pediatric Onset Ataxia. We were inspired to write it by the high number of known diagnoses we made in pediatric patients with ataxia who underwent whole exome sequencing for what was suspected to be a novel disorder as part of the FORGE project. The FORGE project, which stands for Finding of Rare Disease Genes in Canada, focused on identifying novel disease genes for pediatric disorders. But what we found in this study was in fact that a large number of these patients actually had mutations in known disease genes. To explore this further, we retrospectively selected all patients from FORGE with the diagnosis of pediatric onset ataxia, which ended up being 42 patients from 28 families, and we further subdivided these patients into three groups. We had 17 families with more than one affected child, 10 children who were born to consanguineous parents, and 15 simplex patients with no family history of ataxia. All of the families that participated in the study had standard of care genetic testing, which is available to them in Canada, and a diagnosis was not forthcoming. Of these 28 families, we were able to give a diagnosis to 13 of them, which is a diagnostic hit rate of 46%. In two families, we identified novel disorders, and in 38%, we identified a known disorder, which in retrospect was called for the correct genetic diagnosis for the patient. Ataxia is genetically and phenotypically heterogeneous and difficult to diagnose clinically. These results likely reflect the difficulty in accessing comprehensive clinical testing for this heterogeneous presentation. The diagnostic success rate was broken down by categories as follows. For children who had an affected sibling with ataxia, the diagnostic hit rate was 43%. For children from consanguineous families, the diagnostic hit rate was 100%. And for the simplex cases, those patients with no family history, we were able to provide a diagnosis to families in 27% of cases. We did not identify a molecular etiology in 54% of the families we studied. This is likely due to multiple reasons, but most certainly reflects that many of these patients have multiple rare alleles in genes that were not currently known to cause ataxia, and solving these patients will require large-scale collaboration further down the line. Our findings suggest that whole exome sequencing should likely be considered as a first-line diagnostic tool in ataxia, given the high success rate of 46%. This is anecdotally higher than Canadian physicians currently achieve using standard of care testing for patients with ATEX. Thank you for listening and we hope you have been intrigued enough to read our paper.